Hi everyone, um, it's Sarah. I wanted to do something a little bit different for you today. So it is a video on uh, planning and what I use for planning. So both my planners, the one that I use for work and the one that I use for my personal life. This is my lovely uh, windmaker because it is about 32 uh, today here in Nantes and I'm dying in my room. So yeah, apologies. Hopefully the noise doesn't bother you too much. Let's get into it. Okay, um, so my platters. Um, this year, so 2023, I decided to start using uh, the Filofax, the original. Uh, this is the color Burnt Orange. Last year I was using, uh, let me show you, the Malden and Ochre. Um, I really love it, but yeah, I needed some change. I think I might go back in it in October. Um, I'll see. Anyway, so yeah, this year, uh, the original, I purchased the A5 and personal size in December, I believe, 2022. Um, I did not buy them directly from Filofax. Um, actually, yeah. So this one I got on Amazon. It was definitely cheaper than what was available on Filofax and this one I got on Filofax because well the first one I ordered on Amazon cheaper um but it didn't seem genuine so <laughs> I I just went back to Filofax to, to order it and yeah they were regularly uh, out of stock with this color um I don't know if they're still selling it um but yeah so I, I really really liked the burnt orange so I go both in burnt orange. All right, let's start with the personal size. So why do I have two sizes, you ask? Um, even if you don't ask, I'll answer. Um, the personal size is for work. Uh, this is all my professional stuff. Uh, you'll see both my organizations are pretty simple, uh, very practical. Um, yeah, okay, so let's dive into it. Um, Right, so file facts. I like don't get me wrong, I like having washi tape and stuff in there and you know, having some decoration, but I'm not like crazy about putting a lot of stuff in there. Um that is not useful. So you see like it's very, very minimalist. <laughs> um this is an Oli clip that I also got from File Facts. I think the collection is called Confetti or something. Uh I do like I think they were like I don't remember how much they are. I think like they're around ten euros. Um here in Europe. So yeah, this is a very cute cup that I actually cut out from a, a cookie box um, circa 2017, I think, or something like that. Um, this is a tag for a seller on Vinted and I think she has her own website now and she sells um, secondhand uh, clothes that are big size. So very useful for me. Um, so far, no complaint on my side. These are some tabs that I don't use. I rarely use tabs. Um, here, I sh shamelessly uh, hid the uh, the glue. <laughs> uh, because, you know, like, when usually when you buy a Filofax brand new, you have so this, this plastic dashboard. And on it here, exactly, you have the sticker of Filofax saying, like, or is it Amazon? I don't remember. Uh, saying what type of... of of planner this is and I did not manage to remove the glue so I decided to put a post-it on it um, to not see this but 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 I should have done it because I should have managed to remove the glue because I did it for the A5 I just I am too lazy um, to do it for the personal maybe someday I'll, I'll do it because it takes a little while um, just yeah I, I look for a while for for an answer how to do this so I'll tell you just use oil uh, rub it with oil it, it'll start going and leaving but it, it takes a while all right um these are not the original tabs uh they are also from file packs but they're not the ones that came with it uh they are the ones called from the norfolk collection um but i'm not like very sure about the quality see what i mean all right pastel i have a lot of tabs uh but full disclosure i really use only two um, let's show you. Um, so the first one is where I write everything that I have to do every day, ev every week. 
Um, this is a week on two pages diary. I have the, um, how is it called? It's the multi-language um, version because um, I work, so my, jo my job involves me working with people from a lot of different countries across the world and I need to know when they're off. <laughs> I need to know when they're off and the multi-language um, week on two page diary actually has all the holidays from all the countries uh, that I am interested in. Um, so yeah, I, I don't I don't get the, you know, the mono language one, like the French one or the English one or whatever. It's, I need the multi-language one. And uh, you might not see it very well here um, with the slide, but it is not the white paper, it is the cream paper. I do not like the white paper. Um, I find it very aggressive on my eyes. Um, so yeah, I always go for the cream. All right, uh, just to show you uh, what I do. So I did try to use a master task list this year, but it stresses me out. So I gave up on it. I tried it once and then I just, I just gave up on it. Um, it just it stresses me out to see like all these tasks because they would never end in the sense that even if I did manage to like to cr see like to, to check them I would always have to add some more in the back at the bottom so yeah just too much anxiety for me um, I'm just gonna show you okay so this is a clip that I got uh, when I was in Scotland in 2017 I think I bought them at George, which is a branch of Asta. It's like the home section of Asta, the supermarkets. All right. Um, so yeah, as as you can see, week on two on two pages. Um, usually I decorate with like one or two stickers here and there, maybe some washi tape. Sometimes I just do some lettering really quick. I'm not really good at lettering, so um, yeah, I do that. And then I I do set up a few tasks per day. Um, I try to not put too many as in like I need to be realistic and it's always hard for me to do this like I always put too much on every day like you you'll see most of the days actually have no like some of them don't have I forgot to do it but anyways not all of them actually have everything finished so it's it's very complicated and then um, I started stressing out because I could not finish all my tasks so what I did is I broke them down um, with this like I tried something new so I just grabbed the page um, and just broke down every single day see because normally you just have this for a day I took a full one page for one day with my three like or two main goals for the day the tasks um, that are like key that I actually need to finish and these are subtasks so marketing 101 um, is gonna be like see like you have marketing 101 but then I broke it down multiple tasks like smaller tasks to make it easier for me and like more um, rewarding because I could actually check more things um, which is helpful when I work see like so I tried this for two days I think I did it once more but it's not th something that I use often it's usually yeah when I have a big big task to work on and it gives me anxiety because it seems so big so I tried to break it down smaller tasks to make it easier on me um, these stickers are from a um, a small company can I find her card here I don't know let me take if I can find her card I know I have it somewhere uh, nope 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 Okay, I didn't find her card per se, but this. Okay, so this is from this shop. Um, here are all the links, just in case. <laughs> and so she has a lot of stickers, and she's based in France, so that's why I go to her, and what she does actually works for me. Um, and these, I think, are from the winter box that I got. Um, I don't remember when it was. I don't remember if it was November or December. Anyways, there was a winter box. Like, she sells, um, how to say this, like, seasonal boxes. Um, and so far, I think I got three. I got, I got the winter box, the spring box, and then I just got the summer box. So, yeah, I got three. Um, so, yeah, she, she makes seasonal boxes, um, in addition to, sorry about that, um, the phone was overheating because I had the ring light 
connected to it. Um, so I was saying that I had my I got my seasonal boxes from Adiel Shop. Um, you can find her on her own website, Etsy. If you're not in the um, European Union, I would advise you go there. Uh, then you can follow her on Instagram to see whatever new things she, com she comes up with. Um, other than seasonal boxes, she has just, you know, other stickers. Um, and I, I tend to buy them as well. Okay, so as I said, uh, week on two pages. Usually I have my tasks for each day. And then in the weekend here, I... Because obviously I'm not going to write any proper tasks for Saturday or Sunday. Um... I, I usually write some notes if I have any notes to take during the, um, the week. Um, if I usually have a meeting with my manager once a week, so if I have to tell her anything, I will write it down there just to have a small list. Um, I rarely use post-its, um, but if I have something super important that I need to remember, I usually will use a very small one. Um, see? Notes, as I said. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, basically this is it. Um, that's how I organize um, my my weeks uh, at work. My coworkers were so sad when I put this because I I work remotely from home, and well, obviously I don't have any coworkers here, um, you know, because I don't have an office. Um, but I, I did used to go to the office like once every other week and in Paris because I don't live in Paris and I did put this seeker at that point um, which says pets make the best co-workers and yeah I <laughs> they didn't laugh I laughed but they didn't laugh anyway um, yeah I do have those stickers as we day off so I know I have some of them like from Adi Al Shah but I got some others from from a shop based in the UK from which unfortunately I cannot order anymore because it is way too expensive to like buy the stickers and pay for shipping and it's just like yeah it's it's not working for me um the shop is called it's happy cutie studio uh, I know they have a website and then they are on Etsy as well uh if you go if you want to go take a look they have a lot of really really cute stuff um I'm really sad that I, I can't order from them anymore. But I don't live in the UK, so that's the way it is. Um, so yeah, see what I was saying, like when I, I I use like pages sometimes just to like write some extra stuff. Uh that was one big uh one big project that I had and I had to break it down because it was scary. It was scary, and then um here I actually wrote the things that I need to do the week afterwards. Um, because again, like I had a lot of tasks that I needed to finish and I needed to remember them before I actually filled my pages. Um, usually I plan for work on the Monday morning. Um, I, I take an hour from nine to 10 to do that, uh, to review everything I have to do, make sure everything is prioritized correctly. Um, and yeah, making sure that I don't forget anything, uh, super important. And set up my meetings if I if I have anything that I need to to talk to someone about. Ooh, this is uh, from a washi tape that I got from. Where did I get from? I got it from a website. Okay, I'll put it in the description box uh, from a website again, based in France, and they have a lot of washi tape. And this one was really cute. I think they have two colors, like one in, in gold, and I don't know if you can see it, but it shines. <laughs> So one in gold and one in silver and yeah, I got this. So it's very practical. The only thing is like you have Saturday and Sundays and I don't use them um, because I don't use that either in my, in my personal uh, planner. So yeah, as you can see, uh, some stickers, some washi tape and this is the last remaining of the year. As I said, I needed this for like, why do I take the multi-language one is because I need to know the holidays for everyone. Like last week, for example, I had completely, well, the last week, yeah, I had completely forgotten about Juneteenth uh, for the US. And in that case, like I will be trying to <laughs> reach out my colleagues uh, in New York and that's not gonna work. So yeah, I, I just need to like go over, like usually I try to highlight the, the holidays either in the US, Canada, the UK, in Asia, if I have a country as well. 
um, that has holidays and I can find them. Um, I have Australia as well. So yeah, I try to I try to highlight all the holidays for my coworkers. All right, on to the next section. And I made a mistake. This is not a tab. It's a divider. I was looking for the word. I could not find it. Um, in this section, it's a cute picture of the boyfriend, the dog. Um, yeah, so in this section, I... Okay, so this is another Ollie clip. Uh, I think it's the same collection. It's confetti. It's just not the same color. So in this section, I have the uh, month on two pages diary. Um, this helps me keep an eye on the whole month, have a bigger view on everything that's happening. Um, and it's, it's kind of useful when I have, I usually, okay, I, I try to put as much like professional stuff in there as I can, but I will also put any big events, uh, personal that I need to remember if, for example, I need to plan, um, my visit to Paris and then, you know, like in the weekend I have to go somewhere else. It's just like, yeah, to, to, to organize myself a little bit better and easier as well, uh, to not stress as much. Like one, usually this marketing 101 is a big presentation that I have to give to newcomers to the company. Um, it takes a lot of energy, uh, for me. So I do write it down. So I know that I need to, uh, you know, like really, keep that day especially for this and be careful not to do too many things around um but yeah you can see that I went to Paris multiple times uh this was a big professional event and <laughs> I actually had to go to Paris the weekend after for a friend's birthday uh the friend was coming from Canada so like I I, I needed to go there like I could not just not go and it was her 30th birthday um but yeah it, it did take a lot for me um, so I did take the Monday off. Usually the heart is, is a day off. I did take the Monday off because I thought that if I, if I, you know, if I didn't take any day off, I would just like lose it. Um, cause this like started on Wednesday, but I had to travel to Paris on a Tuesday and I had to travel back on a Saturday, which meant I only had Sunday to actually, you know, rest and relax. Um, so yeah, I did that here. Like here, for example, I had a wedding, I wrote it off. Uh, and then, yeah, every time I have a big thing, like again, a big event here, personal, but I need to write it because it has an impact on my work. Um, I just, yeah, I just write it the days that I'm off just to have an overview. This, uh, this is me giving blood. <laughs> so I, I wrote it because I knew that I had to leave work earlier and also that Friday would be a bit like a day where I would be tired a little bit more. Um, again, see, days that I'm off, and then, you know, continues until the end of the year. Um, those sections here, uh, I don't use them, uh, to be honest, like, to be fair. I do have the regular file facts to do lists if ever I need them. I do have this map of the world if I need to find, like, a country or a city. You never know. Um... And then these are notes that I actually took in 2020 and 2021 because I had some, um, not just webinars, but my company invited ladies to talk about their jobs and like how they saw certain things. And I just attended these, uh, these sessions and I took some notes from what they were saying, trying to apply them as much as I could. Um, it was really, really, really interesting. Uh, but yeah, this is just gift, like corporate gift ideas because I used to work in internal communications. Um, notes for meetings. See, like for example, again, if I'm in a meeting and I did not take my laptop or something, like I have this, it's handy just in case. Again, some note paper. And here is the section that I have my, um, my post-its in. I have some stickers as well. These are kind of functional. Um, they're not as fun, and they are from the Norfolk collection. I'm not a big fan, uh, to be honest. I, I'm i just like, yeah, I don't... Because I don't have a big use for, like, the numbers, for example. The to-do, every day is a to-do, so no need for that. Um, the months, again, like, no need because it's written on the paper. Um, here, again, because it's my professional uh, planner. I don't use, like, groceries, for example. The meetings and appointments, I have them on my calendar, on my Google calendar. I don't write them there. Um, so, yeah, most of these, like, I'm not... Like, I would not buy them again if, if I had to. Um, yeah. 
After that, I have some stickers that I bought last year. They are from the Botanical Collection. As I can see, I liked it. <laughs> I like that one. So this is the full sheet. Because uh, usually with file files, you get two sheets of each. Um, yeah, these these are definitely cuter. Uh, I love that one she taped with the bumblebees. They're so cute. Again, Botanical. And I have others, I think, in my uh, molden. Um, that I did not finish, but I'll leave them here. And then I have the contacts. Um, and I bought this extra thing for business cards if ever I need it. And here are the functional, very, very functional stickers that I have, like the day offs, the birthdays, uh, if I need anything. And at the very end, <laughs> I have this very uh, solar powered calculator. Um, I don't remember where I got it. I think I got it from... Um, Okay, it's a company I do not know how to pronounce the name of because I think it's from like Dutch. It's in Dutch. It's called uh, Sostrone Grune, or at least this is how I pronounce it. Um, but it's a very cute shop. It's very cozy. Um, I hope someday I'll be able to actually make a video in there because I really, I would love to show you what it is. It's it's a really, really nice shop. Very relaxing to be shopping there. Um, yeah, so I, I got that from there. I don't think it was super expensive, but you know, it's always handy. So, and it's flat, like it is super thin. Um, so yeah, I keep it in there just in case. And normally here you have space to put um, that, but again, I have absolutely no use for it and it just takes space. Um, so I don't, I don't leave it in here if I don't need it. One very important <laughs> thing that I uh, forgot to cover is what do I write with? Uh, I don't know if you see E, but it is not black. I don't write with black. Um, I write with brown. I write with brown. This is a gel pen uh, from Pentel. It is called, it's an Enerdel and the size of the tip is 07. I have had this one for about a year now um, and you can actually buy refills which is very very nice um, and yeah I, I use that one I feel like it's less aggressive than black or like oh, damn blue <laughs> um, so yeah I do prefer using that and I actually use it in both um, my personal and my uh, professional planners okay I think I'm just gonna I don't remember where I put this. I think it was here, uh, just in case. Boom. I actually sometimes reuse as well stuff that I work on, like this for this small piece, for example. Um, I where did I use that? Oh yeah, because uh, well, I do some watercolor, watercoloring, and I did experiment on something that I saw someone do on a, in a video for a um, a bullet journal. And, you know, you, you make a window, you make a small window in the page. So that means that you take out some paper and I actually already had painted to make like the edges as well in that, uh, that, uh, pattern. So I just reused like this, the piece of paper that I had, uh, taken out. Okay. Uh, on to my personal platter. Here we go. <laughs> I'm a little out of breath. Uh, it's very warm. Just give me a second. I'm going to turn on my fan all right hopefully the sound is not too bothering uh same this is the original burnt orange uh but it is an a5 all right uh you're gonna have a lot more stuff in there <laughs> let me push this and readjust the here we go the space here we go so let's start with the pen um, this is handy just in case I don't have this one like nearby. Um, this is a pen I bought from Paper Chase and I don't know, I think, did they close? I think they closed all their shops. I don't remember. Um, but yeah, I bought, I bought this in the UK at Paper, Paper Chase. Um, I just thought it was really cute. Um, the ink is black and it's just a regular, regular pen. Um, here you have a picture of my dog and me <laughs> and then this was just vellum that I got from an order um, just keep it there because I, I like the material these are some stickers from the the summer box that I was talking to you about like see you have some die cut stickers 
Um, these are really cute, like Vans, Volkswagen Vans, and then cars. I just don't know where, what to do with them yet. Uh, again, some stuff that, like weather stickers, I don't know really what to do with them at the moment yet. Um, these were not from the box. This was from the box. So again, some more die cut stickers. Um, these two packets I got. This was from the spring box. Uh, I'm just not going to open this because this video is de definitely not for this. This is from the summer box. So the whole theme is around traveling. And then you also had some, um, some pages that were for, um, how's it called? Sunflowers. Um, you have to see, uh, like, you have decorative stickers, but I also have a very, um, How's it called? Shoot. I, I used that word earlier and I forget now. That's great. Functional. Ha. <laughs> so you have decorative, but you also have functional stickers in the boxes. Um, so quite nice. I did uh, a story on that on Instagram. So if you want to see stuff that I share, um, just, you know, on a whim, uh, Instagram is the place. But yeah, basically... This is the uh, summer box, so I got that. I got these stickers in it, and I also got a pen. I got a washi tape as well. I don't think I have it here. Nope. Um, a washi tape roll. Um, I was really happy with what I got. But I, I mean, I knew what I was signing up for, so there we go. And then these are some more stickers that I got. So these are for filming or like watching a movie. I love these, like, the coffee break stickers. This is my second, like, page. I got one. Like, this is my second sheet. Um, I finished the first one. And then I have these stickers that I ordered as well. Uh, you'll see why later. Alright. I don't usually keep all of them here. Because otherwise it's too bulky. But for now it is where it is. My dashboard. Uh, my dashboard. I usually make my dashboards plural on canva um usually there's some sort of like vision board mood board for the month um and like if i have anything planned like for example here you can see that there is a wedding cake there's some gardening some coffee traveling tea and this is a uh, place in marrakesh called jamefna because i knew i was going there <laughs> so all this is my month of june um, usually when I'm done with the month, I will put them, like, right before the divider, uh, from the month. Let's show you what I have. So I do have, like, that plastic page. Then you have that. Then I have my yearly planner page. This is on vellum. Um, I'm not sure I will order another one next year because I don't use it that much. Um, but yeah, it gives you an overview. I kept that card because I just liked it. It says 2023. And then it starts. So I did set up my 2023 goals um, in, tw in January when I when I, I set up that planner. Um, and I tried to stay realistic with everything that I wanted to achieve this year. Um, you might not know me, but <laughs> I, I finished um, my meds, my depression meds in, I think it was late january um so this is my first year in the last uh two years three years without without meds uh it is hard and i need to you know learn how to function without it um and that means taking care of myself so i did a plan for this um so i i, I plan practical stuff like financial safety um and then I plan for my, my health in general. So you do have the mental health side of things. Then you have the physical health as well. Because I am definitely overweight. For some doctors I would be called obese. Which is fine. I'm at peace with that. I know what I am. And then you have gardening as well. Um, and yeah. These are like. My, my, my main goals this year are like revolving around um, these themes. Um, yeah. Let's start and see. Oh, okay. My monthly savings uh, tracker because I, okay, I tend to move a lot around and I settled down in January 2022, but I was jobless for about five months, um, which means my, my savings uh, were dwindling a little bit. In France here, we get some money if we're jobless, but still like, you know, if you want to go 
if you want to do anything other than just surviving, um, you know, it's, it's not possible. So I did have to go and use my savings if I wanted to do something extra and actually taking care of myself, um, which is always the case. So I did spend my money, which means my savings were down to like about a thousand um, <laughs> when I started working in June, last June, so 2022. And I am currently trying to rebuild um, my savings. I'm trying to get to a point where I actually have some money aside in case anything happens. Um, and when the amount is uh, in my account, I will be starting to save like for for something bigger, like, I don't know, buying a house, for example, um, or anything like this. So yeah, at the moment, I'm just trying to rebuild my savings. Um, little by little, see, in general, I had so many like uh, expenses. I actually had to change laptops. I had to buy a new phone because mine got stolen. Um, all this. So yeah, trying to save. I'm writing this, uh, what comes in and out of my savings account. Goals. As I said, I like to break down, you know, big, big steps, goals, tasks, just to make them a little bit easier to achieve, a little bit less scary. <laughs> um, so for 2023, in terms of financial safety, uh, so this is what we sort of like discussed here a little. Um, so basically, I want to save 840 euros per month. That's not the case at the moment, but, you know, I'm, I strive to do this. Um, I need to, yeah, <laughs> to wait at least two days before spending too much, um, just so I have time to think about it and make sure that the purchase is actually, like, worth it, if that makes sense. Like, is it necessary? Is this something that really is going to bring me joy? Um, so yeah, I have to do this. And then if I want to spend over 50, so like about 100 euros, I need to wait about a week to make absolutely sure that either I need the thing or it's really going to bring me joy. Like if I spend money you know, on a train ticket, for example, um, like this is something I'm planning currently. Like I want to go to Lyon in September for a, uh, Nisang festival. It costs money. So I've been thinking about it for a week because it does cost a lot of money for going, for buying the tickets to the festival, to the workshops. Um, this is a good example for this. <laughs> it's been more than a week and I'm still thinking, so um, I think I'm, I'm getting there. In terms of health, I wanted to sign up to the gym because I had not gone to the gym in about, mm, I think it was about a few years, like three, four years. So I wanted to do this and actually go to the gym. I was a little bit ambitious here because um, I rode tw twice a week, uh, three if possible. Um, at the moment, I'm currently going once a week. Um, and I actually hired a coach because I can afford it now uh, that I have a job. Um, and I'm actually proud of myself uh, because it is definitely better than last year. It's better than the year before. And I'm actually actually going every week. Um, so yeah, I'm proud of myself with this one. And then eat more vegetables, uh, at least one meal a day. Um, I'm still working on this. I am doing what I can and usually I manage to do this. Um, so yeah, work in progress, but I'm go I'm doing good progress. I am go I'm going, I'm going there. So it's, it's on the way. Then in terms of mine, so this is my mental health, um, I, sports regularly. There you go. Gym once, a, once, a, once a week. So that's good. Self-care night per week. So that's for me, self-care night would mean me being on my own. Uh, because don't get me wrong, I love my boyfriend, I love my dogs, I love like meeting people and everything, but I need to be with myself sometimes and only myself. Um, and yeah, self-care night, would, for me, that would mean that, like being on my own. So usually I just try to isolate myself in the bedroom for the evening, watching a series like, for example, Firefly Lane nowadays, um, knitting or like wear like having a mask on or like taking care of my nails, you know, my stuff. Um, oh, bake, bake every other week. Okay. I don't bake every other week because it is not great for my health. I have to admit like my physical health. Um, but I bake when I can because it is something that relaxes me and I like to eat what I bake. So yeah. And then meditate at least 15 minutes a week. I'm definitely not there. Like, I am definitely not there. I don't take the time to meditate. I should, because I know every time I do it, I feel better. But I don't take the time to, to do it. So it's something I definitely need to work on. Then gardening. This is mostly a fail. Um, I needed to buy some strawberry uh, seeds. I did that. 
I needed to study the gardening of strawberries. I did that though. This is done. But planting the strawberries, I did not do. I was supposed to plant a lot of stuff and I didn't do anything this year. Um, I just, yeah, I just didn't have the strength. So I let it go. I let it go. This year is fine. Like I'm, I'm just giving up on that. Um, this one orders tracker. I just stopped using it. I, I just like I don't see the point. I I don't need this like to track anything. I have my emails, and to be fair, like it's a lot of work for not much. Uh, I pay everything with my credit cards. My I mean, sorry, we call it credit card here, but it's a debit card for the U.S. and I think the U.K. as well. Um, then my books. I. I need to fill this up because I did read more books than that. Um, but I really liked working on that, on that, um, insert. Um, yeah, I did. What I mean, like, I, I did not, like, track this. I actually gave up on weighing myself. And by not weighing myself, I actually feel a little bit better about myself. I think it was, a, it, honestly, it, it, like, it weighed on me to actually go and weigh myself uh, on a scale. It was not good because every time, like, either I wouldn't ha I wouldn't, like, my weight would not have moved or I would have gained um, or just gone back to the original weight. And that's just, like, you know, it's not helping in terms of mental health. So I thought, you know what, I'm not going to weigh myself anymore this year. Um, and we'll see at the end of the year how it is. If it hasn't moved, then so be it. Um, I did change my, my habits, though. I'm going to the gym. I'm trying to eat more vegetables. So this is good. Um, and then we'll, we'll see. Um, oh, this is something that is life-saving. I do encourage you to make one if you, if you move a lot. Um, since I, I, I traveled for work, I created this travel packing list. It's helping me pack every single time that I have to go away. Um, it has a lot of stuff on it. Doesn't mean I'm going to take everything at every single time, but it does have everything to remind myself uh, that I might need to take it, like underwear, uh, clothes, shoes, pajamas. I see it on the paper. I know I might need to take it. If I see it, I remember. If I don't need to take it, fine. At least I'm sure I don't need to take it. Same for toiletries, the makeup, and then the miscellaneous as well. Like, don't forget your ID, for example. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this is my re reusable travel packing list, and I would definitely encourage uh, everyone to do this. Even if you're just going on holidays often, then, you know, make one. This was my dashboard for Jan. Uh, you can see, signed out to the gym. Uh, Jan was also my birthday, so you do have, where is it here, the, the birthday cake, taking care of my mental health, some coffee, saying goodbye to autumn and winter, and here we go. Oh, and also this was a card that was in the in the winter box. All right, so how does it show? How does it work? In my personal uh, planner, you have monthly dividers. This is a new setup that I tried this year because uh, last year I did not manage to keep track of everything. And this year it's definitely easier. So I do have a monthly spread where I see everything that's happening. If it's fine, I'm going to like make a small drawing of what was going on. I keep track of when I went to the gym, what happened to me. I'm gonna write some, you know, breakdown of my goals uh, per month as well. And yeah, and then after that, so this was January, I was trying stuff out. Um, so I do have an insert called One Line A Day, and this is me writing, forcing myself to summarize my day in a line that is positive. So anything that happened pos and that was positive in my day, I'm going to write it here. Oh god. Okay. Then I had the things to check out. Um, so that would be like TV shows, movies, books, and other. And I can tell you right now I gave up on that like full insert. I think I have it like as a small band at the bottom of a another one. But I'm not doing a full one anymore. This one, the anxiety tracker, same I gave up. Um required too much energy from me and yeah. Not necessarily in take space. This though, the habits I kept. Um, I don't think I have everything. Yeah, I don't have the IG posting and journaling anymore. I just keep the bed before twelve. Skincare, vegetables, and and I actually have replaced this with six thousand steps a day. So definitely better. Same for my weekly inserts because I I use weekly inserts. 
uh, they changed. Um, so you do have like the weekly tasks, um, and then I tried to do like the three the week uh, week goals, but again I gave up on that. The appointments, the weekly doodle. Um, if you're wondering, this is a pineapple, and it's a small figurine that I got, and uh, um, something that we do that we celebrate in January in France, uh, la Galette des Rois, and I got that in there. See, it already changed. Um, so no goals anymore, no doodles, but I, I kept the week, the weekly um, tasks. I went to menu, so like that would be me listing all the vegetables that I have in my um, in my refrigerator, um, just to get an idea of what I can be cooking if I'm, you know, like it's it's the evening and I need to cook something and I'm like, oh, I don't have anything, then I have ideas here. These are the self-care things that I need to check as week, uh, as well per week. Uh, as you can see, I kept that for a few times, a few weeks, I kept that menu. And then at the end of the month, I do have the month in review. I will have my successes, my challenges, uh, some things that I need to improve, my thoughts on the month. Um, and then lastly, I will have my favorites. I took a full page for that, so TV shows, books, movies. Um, and you'll have like all the favorites at the bottom. This was my my vision board for Fab uh, Waffles because I had to go to Brussels for work, uh, some painting because I wanted to paint, taking care of myself, see like Belgium. Um, all right, so Fab. Ooh. Um, ooh, February is actually when we got to Lula, um, our second dog. Um, so that was a happy month, uh, but exhausting month. <laughs> I actually got a lot of anxiety from that month. It was not like easy on my mental health. That is for sure. But as you can see, I went to the gym. I was like, I was trying to go to the gym twice. It did happen a few times earlier this year, but not anymore. Now I'm just prioritizing going once at least and taking care of myself the rest of the time. So yeah, I did, I did go to the gym. Like, see, I do go. Um... One line a day, I kept that one because I thought it was really nice. The habits, see, I kept, at the, at the point, I already had changed like the 6,000 steps. And I decided to add a an insert called the health log um, to keep track of my anxiety. Um, and I was having a lot of vertigo and fab because of my anxiety and my headaches. So, yeah, that was happening. Um... I tried a new a new insert, as I said, like things to check out. I for at first like I used half a page. Um, I did not like, you know, add a lot recipes to try. Um, I did try this; it was really good. I did try the cookies; it was really good. The pumpkin cheesecake; I'm still to try it. Um, yeah, as you can see, like it hasn't changed a lot. I just had a lot of appointments uh, during this week. So I did like leave some space for them. Uh, these were the weeks when I was like um, in in uh, in Brussels. I think that was the week when I was in Brussels. Was it something like that? Um, this sticker is insane. It was really cool. I have that in the winter box. I had like some of them as well in the in the spring box. I'm sad she did not add them in the. Um, in the summer box, unfortunately, so now I'm just drawing my boxes, but they're definitely not as cute as those stickers. Uh, but yeah, I really enjoyed having them. Again, Fab and Review, so same insert. At the end, same thing as January, and then comes the dashboard for March. So in March, I was attending a um, civil wedding uh, in Paris, so that's why you have this, some tea for relaxing. I intended on gar gardening, that's why you have this. This is the dress that I wore for the wedding. Gardening, self-care isn't selfish. Um, yeah, that was very green. <laughs> it was very green. This card is from a magazine that I'm subscribed to. It's for gardeners. Um, yeah, maybe someday I'll talk to you about it. March, uh, again, some things happened. I went to Paris. Um, I had that wedding during a weekend. I went to have a brunch at the hotel right behind my house where I was really curious about what was happening inside. Um, yeah, I kept my one line a day. The habits were still six. Then the health log as well. See, a little bit less anxiety. I had no vertigo at all, so that was great. 
um, but I did still have some headaches. I kept this, the things to check out, the recipes to try. I did try this, the courgette and tomatoes and mozzarella. So in terms of taste, that was really good. But I am still trying to, like the problem is like it was full of water. I tried to cook the courgettes before I put everything together, but it was still super watery. I'm like at a loss at the moment as to how to fix this, but it was really good. Homemade braids, did, still haven't done this. I'm trying to find like a book that I, I would like to like to follow the recipes of and I'm not finding what I'm looking for yet. Um, March. I love like this this page. Um, this is watercolor and I yeah, I just love this page. It's simple. It's like you know, it's not overcrowded, it's clear. I just yeah, I just really liked it. See, this is what I was talking about. Um I had those stickers in the in the spring box. Um so yeah, that one's kinda cute. I kept on going with the vegetables, the self-care, and I added a um, a part called notes. Um, and this part is for the appointments um, and for other things that I need to write um, whatever happened in my life. So yeah, again, kept on going with the vegetables, notes, self-care, weekly thing. I love how I wrote this, like for the notes, how I, I, I created that note site. I just, I love it. I really like that one too. Um, and then I make it, I made it super simple for March. So as you can see, like I removed one or two of, um, okay. I think we're going to go faster because my phone is currently dying. As I was saying, the March final insert is shorter. Um, I just like, I thought I would just limit the number of inserts cause it's starting to be big and we're basically at the middle of the, the year and I'm not sure everything's going to fit in there. Uh, the rings are a little bit too small, uh, which is why next year I am planning on buying the Norfolk from Final Fantasy. The uh, rings are a bit bigger, um, but it's a bit of money, so I'm, I'm setting money aside. So yeah, a review, favorites, again, the insert for April, uh, gardening, <laughs> wishful thinking, and then needing uh, this because I was going to Marseille, and some cinnamon rolls because I wanted to bake cinnamon rolls. Um, as I said, I was saying, I showed you like the circles with the numbers and I actually use them for the months. Um, I don't know. I, I kind of like doing that instead of just like, you know, coloring the inside and putting the number, um, because these are undated. Um, oh yeah, I forgot, but these, these inserts and dividers and these monthly things are from Carpe Diem. I got them in a, another A5 planner. I don't have it here. Um, but yeah, I, I really like them. Unfortunately, I cannot find them here in France. So next year, I'm going to have to uh, make them myself. And oh, actually, I already planned for this. Shoot. And I got myself some monthly dividers. You can't really see, but it's written in gold. Um, you do have like the month written here. And I got this from a company called Slow Life Planner. Um, she's based in France. So I got that and I got a few other things, but that's something I'm probably going to put in a TikTok video because it is not long. <laughs> I did not buy a lot of things, but I, I bought very useful things. So yeah, April, again, one line a day, did some painting here, kept the habits going. I did have the reading here, but skincare, bad vegetable, 6,000 steps, the health log. I did write a few things here because I did have some health issues. Um, the to do I did give up on the uh, menu vegetable thing I did now I'm just putting either a sticker or like a quote something but I do keep the self care and the notes for the appointments um, for April I just did not do the last um, the last insert I don't know why maybe I did not have time or I did not have strength just didn't do it May um asmr because i wanted to <laughs> to film some asmr but i didn't um didn't have time i did make a crumble the, an apple crumble i love these they're so easy to make and they're good and they're hearty and i just like for me this is comfy comfortable food like this is this is cozy food literally it is it is food that makes me comfortable and and i love it uh, maybe someday i'll share with you my 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 own recipe um yeah other than that 
again self-care needing some tea some working because i was working on my on an article for the blog i'm still working on it um it's taking some time because it's not like i i i have the information um if you've been on, on my website you've seen some articles they always are researched i have uh like um how just like articles like university articles to back them up um academic articles to back them up um, so I do have the information, it's just like the form I gave it is not, like I'm not satisfied with it, so I'm still working on that. Um, right, some more traveling to Paris. This, where did I get? Oh, Birchbox, uh, which is now Blissim in France. I hate that name. Anyway, um, <laughs> so yeah, May again, so this is when I went to Marseille, I came back on the 1st. Gem, 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 as you can see, like very consistent um and i did give my blood on the 25th of may so i was happy because i had not done that since jan because you cannot do it often when you were a woman and then i was super tired and then on the 27th i had a huge issue i don't know what happened to me apparently i had some kidney stone i'm not sure um but i had to go to like i had to call the uh, emergency services um because i did not know what was happening to me i didn't i didn't want to go to the ER so I just stayed at home suffering <laughs> um, and I waited for a doctor to come and see me but I was supposed to go to my grandparents and we I actually started feeling super ill on my way there um, so we just turned back around and cancelled um, I was really sad about this but had to one line a day I was a little bit less consistent with that but I wrote a bit more for some days uh, I was happy with this habits uh, I kept four, so the four main habits that I, I needed. The health log, uh, again, wrote when something went really weird. Um, then again, like, yeah, at this point, it's mostly the same. I think I have found, like, what works for me. I did do the May in review, um, and then now we are in June. I'm still working on it. Um, we're getting closer to the end. <laughs> um, and, yeah, actually, this week I went twice. So I need to read this now. Thursday. There you go. I went twice. Um, we were in Morocco early June, like for a wedding. Uh, maybe I'll show you that later because I actually have an ASMR video planned to bring you with me to Morocco with some objects. Um, later on this. One line a day. Um, I started mid-month, so like there's nothing here, and I still need to write some stuff for this week. So yeah, I just kept it. The habits. Uh, I have not taken care of my skin that much this month, which is not great because I actually burned in Morocco, so not amazing. Um, here I intended on doing the health vlog, but I just gave up on it because at the moment, like I'm feeling fine. Um, but I think I will get back to it in July because I. I'm going to give up on my um, hormonal implant um, and see what happens um, because I have had hormones for a little while now and I'm just tired um, and I actually suspect that they were not helping during my depression so I, I'm just like going to get rid of it for now uh, try to get back to my original self and um, see how I feel uh, and then if I don't see any changes, I'll just go back to it. Um, but now, yeah, I need to remove it. So, I um, this was this was the week from the 12th to the 18th, and then I reverted back here because this was empty. I kept it empty for the health log, and I decided last minute to not have a health log. Um, so this was this week. I had a few things to do, um, and we have something in France called La Fête de la Musique, which is the um, not music party, but music celebration, basically, on the 21st of June, which is actually the day of summer. Um, so yeah, as usual, notes, self-care, uh, a quote, and then my to-do list for the week. So this is it for now, and then you have all the rest of the year until December. But as I said, I don't know if everything is going to fit in here. Like, as you can see, it's already, like, okay, I can close it, but I don't think the rings are going to handle it very well. Um, so yeah, I don't know yet, but yeah, so I have that, uh, until December. And then after that, I actually have my recipe section. Um, I am missing a few recipes from there. Uh, but yeah, I created this. So again, dashboard I made on canvas. I got this from the same shop, I think 
that I bought the yearly planner from that was on Etsy. I'll try and find it back and then I'll link it, link it in the description box uh, so you can find it back. So yeah, my recipe section. Um, and here I have some recipes I got from work. So shakshuka, which is something I really love. Uh, strawberry panna cotta, water, parmesan spaghetti squash. This is amazing. I would recommend this to anyone. It's amazing to eat vegetables. It's good. It, it's hearty. Again, very like cozy food for the autumn or maybe winter if you do still get squash during winter, but it is really cool. It does take some prep, um, but it's really, really good. Uh, this is actually recipe. These are recipes from a cooking class that I offered my boyfriend for uh, Was it his birthday? I don't remember. Yeah, I think it was his birth. No, it was Christmas. It was Christmas I offered him a cooking class and it was for two uh, It was Japanese. So it was ramen uh, gyoza and shishu pork and it was really good. It was amazing um, So I kept the recipes. These are super old recipes I've ever tried and they work my blueberry oatmeal muffin, um, my big fat chewy chocolate chip cookies, these every time they work. This is brownie and this is a gluten free brownie. Um, I tried it once, it was really good, but it is made with black beans and unfortunately it did not have a mixer at the moment, like at the time. And I tried to like crush the beans with a fork and it left some pieces. So in terms of taste, it was really great, but in terms of consistency, it was not amazing. Um, so I kept the recipe thinking, you know, like once I actually have a mixer in my life, um, it will definitely be better and it's the case now, but I haven't tried them yet again. Again, kind of like I keep some paper here, some functional stickers. Um, I do have this just in case anything breaks. Um, I can fix it. Got them from File Fix, and I do keep this small like notepad here. But again, I don't have any use for it. All right, this is it for today. Um, this is my planner system. Uh, very functional, as you can see. Super simple. I think I have found. Um, you know, a system that works for me in terms of like professionally and personally. Uh, I'm going to stick with this for now. If I ever feel the need to change anything or to add or remove inserts, as you can see, I do it already. So I don't mind doing it regularly. And um, yeah, hopefully this inspired you a little bit. Ooh, one thing I forgot to tell you. <laughs> I watch uh, a lady on YouTube called um, Buy, Sell, Plan. And she inspired me to actually have something functional that works for me. Um, and for that, I really, like, I'm super grateful. And I actually <laughs> inspired, like, got inspired with the, the inserts. She, um, she cuts them here with the, um, how's it called? Oh, shoot me. A punch. Like, um, I don't remember how it's called. Basically something that like rounds the corners and I do it now and I actually find it very nice because it doesn't it doesn't catch on anything. Um and yeah, it does it gives me it gives it a smoother look in my opinion. But yeah. Okay. Uh hopefully you liked this demonstration. Um <laughs> hopefully you're not bored as well and uh I'll try to share with you Maybe an update in December or like, um, you know, an overview of the year, see how it went, see if I'm still happy with my inserts, if I intend on changing anything for 2024. Um, but yeah, until then, um, hopefully, you, hopefully you enjoyed this video uh, and I guess I'll see you next time. Bye!